Well, thank you, uh, Dark Light, a.k.a. Will, uh, for uh, performing uh, on Valley Advocate Sessions. Uh, it's a pleasure to hear your performance. Um, first off, uh, could you tell us uh, about uh, where the name uh, uh, for your solo project came about? Dark Light, oh, geez. Um, well, I think probably in my head, it probably originated from like uh, a character, what's his name? Biggs Darklighter from the original Star Wars, which isn't, I don't think, said in the films, but it's one of those like nerdy Star Wars things that people would know. Um, I, I don't know exactly where I grabbed it from. I started using it first as like a kind of a, like a, almost a gamer tag. Like I, if I had a character in a video game, I would just name it Darklight because I thought it was cool. Um, I was like the idea from X Men of like, you know, Magneto would say that their names, you know, like Cyclops or whatever, were like their real names, and they were casting off their human names. So, and then, you know, going along with the whole idea, like the Native Americans have, where they'll be like Laughing Bear or small, you know, they'll choose these, get these kind of names. So I always kind of like that, and eventually when I, when I started doing some solo guitar stuff, it just kind of like, oh, I guess I'm going to use the name Darklight. And then I wanted to use different names for different kinds of projects, but I just do too many kinds of genres. Like I do too many kinds of music and instruments and it got like eight or 10 names. You're, some people do that, but I, I couldn't do it. So I just decided everything's gonna be dark light from now on. And if people get confused because one time there's guitars and the other time there's keyboard, it's just gonna be whatever. And now I actually have some friends that will like call me dark light, which is kind of cool. It seems weird, <laughs> but I actually kind of enjoy it. Uh, could you tell us about uh, the music you perform today? Um, wh sure. What it really inspired you, and what what are the songs? Sure, yeah, to be about? I've, I've always been really into electronic music, probably more so than anything else. And it's weird that I haven't really played it. Like I've done experimentation with you know just putting things through pedals and stuff. But I've always I'm very instrumental oriented. I play a lot of instruments, so I've always focused on I guess projects that work with that more. And so um, I, what actually started this was really just syncing the drum machine and the synth, which is basically the core of everything that's going on. And once I realized that I could make them play with each other and stay in time with each other, uh, I just kind of like pulled these songs out. And um, I pulled them out in like a week. Actually, uh, Rob Robinson, he set up like a show at the Sierra Grill and he built it as like a synth thing. And I felt the pressure to just like make it happen. I wrote all that stuff in a in like a week. Oh wow! And then I recently got this sampler, which I added, which is gonna open a lot of more doors. I was just using it for ambient effects and stuff that I pulled off of some old records, but I can actually use this to do more realistic drums. I can use I can load horn. You know, I play brass instruments, so I could load load horn sections into it, I could load like bass guitar, guitar stuff into it. So we're using that to uh, use uh, the seagull sounds? These uh, were, yeah, this was the seagull sound and then the uh, the wind sound in the second song. And then uh, it's basically just manipulating these and then some a little looping, some effects, and then some vocal looping and some vocal effects. It's pretty simplistic uh, despite, you know, a million cables and connecting things. So are you working on any uh, projects as far as like an album or recordings? Yeah, I'm actually just wrapping up recording those two songs for, I'm just going to do a dual song release. It seemed kind of stupid to me to just release like a two song thing versus a single or an EP. But uh, it's what I've got and I just realized that I could just do it. So I think it'll, I'll be releasing it like, the, like January 1st. Do you have um, any gigs coming up to uh, uh, mid-January, late-January time? I don't have any gigs. What I'm trying to do is really dig into this thing and write some more songs and get some more interesting drums, some more interesting layers. Because this is very, what I've been doing is very basic. There's not a lot of layers. I don't even have like real bass lines. It's just like a part and a drum part. So what I want to do is get a... Uh, because the people I really enjoy, like you know, like Baths or James Blake. Well, James Blake is kind of minimalist too, but like most of them are using Ableton Live, and they're having you know they have all these layers that they can bring in. And I'm kind of by not using a computer, I'm uh, I'm kind of limiting myself. So I want to use this to kind of even out the playing field, and I think that's going to take a while. 
So I'm going to not play shows for a little bit. Oh, I got I got you. You need to develop your own yeah. craft. Yeah. What I want to really do is is get more into like playing at parties and just uh almost just like winging it. You know, just go somewhere where people want to dance in like a house or basement or something and just, you know, mess around for hours or whatever. But I uh, yeah. We'll get That's there. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Dark Light. Thank uh, you. It's a pleasure. Pleasure being here.